Hello everyone. I just sat down. I finished doing some content work for Planner Kate. So I'm gonna sneak a few of those sheets in here. But really why I came into my office was to prep for November. My traveler's notebook so I'm gonna take this section out and that just makes it a little bit easier as I'm filming to work on the pages but first let's talk about these three sheets these were sneaked on the planner Kate Instagram and Facebook group they are three new sheets for 2025 and since I use a lot of undated inserts I'm particularly excited for these. So this kit 7XXA20, this will be available obviously for January through December, but they're the 2025 dates on these little banners. So we have the day of the week, the month, and the date. And then another option is 7XXA21. So another way you could date your planner that has the date, the month, and the day of the week. And then this one is kit 7XXA19, and you get all 12 months on here. These are mini calendars for 2025. I love that they're neutral, and it does have the dates on the calendar. So, little sneak peek of what's coming from Planner Kate in 20 or for 2025. Let's move over to this and it's going to be a shorter video, but one that I wanted to share because I thought it might be helpful um, for some people. So I need my journaling card from Cloth and Paper. That's what I use to make all my lines. So this is an insert from Perfective Paper that I just really started utilizing in October. And I wanted to track my mood, my energy level, my sleep. And then I just randomly put a 30 day planner challenge down here um, to see how long I could stay in the same daily and weekly insert. Um, but I thought that tracking my mood, energy, and my cycle all in one place, maybe I could see the correlation between those three things. So on the top here, I chose to do very happy, happy, calm, tired, stressed, or anxious. <coughs> and then for my energy level, I have most normal, low, or none. For my cycle, I started color coding the different phases of my cycle, but um, I just went off hormonal birth control in Let's see, really in September, I think. So this didn't turn out the way that I planned it to, which I think I'm going through um, perimenopause. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see where we're at, I guess. I'm gonna give it a couple of months. And then this is my sleep. So if I got good quality sleep or poor quality sleep, I marked that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through on this top section here and connect my dots to finish out October and my um, mood. All right, and as a former high school math instructor, graphs in particular just bring me probably too much joy. So that's super satisfying to see that. And then this next section, I'm kind of proud of myself, guys. Usually I would not add something mid-month because I want it to be complete. But you can see here for my energy level, I didn't start this insert or this section until the 12th of October. And I'm okay with having the first 11 days blank. Um, I didn't wanna wait until November to start seeing 
some of the correlation here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this section and connect my dots. Okay, so what I was hoping to see was when I was in a better mood, um, I had more energy. So as this graph approaches the top, so should this graph, which I think it looks fairly consistent if we're looking at that specific correlation. And then um, I don't really need to do anything other than mark the days that I was sick. I actually went home with a fever from work on Friday. So I just need to see what date that is because I don't remember off the top of my head. So that would have been Friday the 25th. And I'm gonna mark that with a dashed line on my cycle because I kind of feel like it was related to that. Again, nothing to mark on my sleep. I do that the next morning with a check mark. I am going to take off this tab. It is adhesive, but I don't use it that way. I put washi down to hold it in place. That way I can use them over and over again from year to year and um, move them around in my planner as I need to. I do need to get in my little storage pouch here. These are from Amazon and Find November. Of course, I am finding all of them except November, but this isn't very organized either. Here it is, right in front of my face. All right, let me get these put up real quick and we'll get this put on with some washi. Just fold it over to make it sort of like double-sided tape and put one on each side. And then I can probably just mark this page, that way it won't be in the way when I open my planner up to write on the pages. And then we will get ready for November here. Write the month in first. And then I think it worked out well, so I'm not going to change anything. Of course you could if you wanted to you know, tweak these from month to month, but I think that I'm good with what I had. So I'm gonna copy down first my mood. So I have my mood and then we'll do the same thing with the energy. And then my cycle. And then I'm actually gonna skip a line this time and do my sleep here. So either good or poor quality. All right, so now I'm ready for November. Let's get this put back in the notebook. People ask me a lot if I bind my inserts. As you could probably tell, no, I don't. Um, I just leave them loose because the elastic of the notebook holds them in place. And we should be ready for November. So here's a look back at the completed October page. And again, doing the same thing for November. 
I will put the link for this exact monthly tracker in the description below for you. Um, I can see a lot of different uses for this. This is from Crefective Paper. And I do have a coupon code GEN15 will save you 15% off your order. And um, yeah, I just love all of her inserts. They're very functional, but I wanted to share this one specifically because I know um, a lot of women my age, specifically in the planner community, are kind of needing or wanting to track some of the same things. And this has been really helpful for the month that I've used it. So I want to continue doing that for the rest of quarter four at least. And then we'll reevaluate for 2025. Thank you guys for joining me today and I'll see you back next time.